probably not even so really because it's such a huge job and I've watched um, Peter do that job and he works as hard as I do in the environmental services um, and yet he was unpaid so um, I had a prejudice to combine those two so that was just the, some of the thinking there. Um, just on the same vein, uh, Chair, the, um, I just see in the terms of reference, the chairperson, a chair RMA making good decisions, accredited member of the committee is elected by the council. I, I, I stand to be corrected, but I don't think we have any chair accredited councillors left. Has anyone got their chair rating around the table? Because... But when you say chair rating, what do you mean by that? Yeah. RMA um, accredited chair to run RMA. RMA, hearing, hearing. not just chair as uh, in generic chair, but RMA. Absolutely. Yeah. RMA issues. Oh, did, oh, did. That's all right, chair. I was just going to make the exact point that Councillor Barker made. Uh, so, so I, I guess the the issue, bluntly, is. Um, Look, a few of us might have a go at it. No one, we might all miss. You only get one go at it, <laughs> and you might miss out. So, I just wonder whether the hearing committee chair issue might need to lay on the table until we actually have a accredited chair. Can, can we just get clarity around this chair? Um, does the chair of the hearings committee have to be an accredited commissioner, a, an accredited chair, yeah, or neither? So, Chair, if I could just clarify through you. So, in order to sit on a hearings panel, um, best practices you've done are making good decisions course. To chair a hearing, again, best practices that you've done a chair's endorsement. There is no law that, that makes it so. However, it is best planning practice that that's what you would do. It has been the, the policy this council has adopted in the past. Because... Chairing a hearing is, is reasonably complex and challenging, and there are different skills required. But yeah, the but chair we're talking about chairing the hearings committee, no, not a hearing. So, so chairing the hear hearings committee, there is no requirement to be a chair. However, to chair a hearing... Yeah, I think that's the point of clarification. Um, Can you refer to the page? Sorry, Chair, I'm Well, we're electing, uh, we're going to elect the chair of our hearings committee. That doesn't mean that that chair is going to chair hearings. Quite right. No. Quite right, but That's that right. doesn't, what, that's not what the terms of reference need changing, and it sounds like council policy needs changing for that to happen. <coughs> yes, so, Chair, um, I attended a um, refresher course on the RMA uh, just earlier this week, and this very point came up. And um, it is going to become a requirement for anybody to, to sit on a hearings um, a hearing to be an accredited commissioner. It is going to be a requirement for anybody that chairs a hearing to be an accredited chair. But those things do not apply at all to the chair of a hearings committee of council. Mm. So I think we need to amend the terms of reference here to clarify that point. I just want to uh, get a, a comment from Leanne here. Are we able to elect a chair today of our hearings committee under these rules and regulations? Because I want to do that. Yes, there's no reason why we can't, given the we, um, council can make a revision that by such and such a date they want that person to be chair accredited or if they want to change the terms of reference that they can do that as well so it's totally up to council so terms of reference today okay. and how do we do a provider and we can give it Okay, we've got a mover. Chair, uh, you'll note uh, that th the next recommend the recommendations contain both the elections of officers and the terms of ref adoption of the terms of reference. So we could leave that until those 
com committees are decide determined. So what you're saying is we determine the committee? Well, if you follow the recommendation process, you'll see you that uh, they refer both to the terms of reference yeah, yeah, yeah. for that committee and the Okay, when we vote one by one. Chair, okay. Chair perhaps if just to help and save a little bit of rewording for this, I think the, the simplest thing to do would be exactly as Councillor mm. Curtin suggested and just revise the terms of reference to remove the confusion where it says a chair RMA making good decisions accredited member just to read a making an RMA making good decisions accredited member because there are plenty of those around the table um, who could chair this committee. Should we wait until we do that at the time? Okay, we'll do that at the time. Is, um, is, yes. the dip, is our deputy chair able to chair the hearings committee, and, and is he willing to do so? But you need to ask him. <laughs> He's not able. Well, uh, I'm not unwilling, <coughs> but I'm not accredited, and I have. Uh, I, I was going to go and do the accreditation last training, but I didn't because I got busy. But I intend to do it this time. But there's no, we'll, there's no need for you to be accredited to be the chair. Right, well. we'll see when the nominations are. Yep. Mm -hmm. Agree or not? I mean, there needs to be a little bit of a balance between, well, I mean, if we're not careful, we'll end up with nine chairs around the table. I'm oh, sorry. I can't see how that's going to happen, Councillor. Okay. If there's no more comment, I would like to move to, for uh, nomination to the Environmental and Services Committee. Um, um, no, it's down the... Um, oh, is that on the... It's just different, is it? Where's the first one? Sorry? Oh, it wasn't on this one. Okay. What page are we on? Page 13. Yeah. Chair, I have one more question. Um, so we're, we're looking to reincorporate the Murray Committee, which I'm fully in support of, but uh, once again along budgetary concerns, would we look at, you know, in considering we've got potentially an RPC member who's pretty keen to be sitting here as well, and I don't know how that will pan out, but would we have a discussion on maybe a daily rate for the chairs in those instances rather than how it is current, well, how it has been in the last term? Well, we could have that discussion. Um, I wasn't intending having it today. I thought um, we've already got a, um, an arrangement with the chair of the Maori Committee. We had a vigorous discussion on that last term. Um, if you want to bring it up, um, certainly able to. Um, maybe in our... Um, session afterwards. Yeah, perhaps in the session afterwards. Thank you. Make that, we'll, we need, we'll need an agenda for the session afterwards, right? Okay, so we are, um, um, uh, for the recommendations, uh, um, looking for nominations for the Regional Transport Committee um, um, for a chair and deputy chair. Um, I would nominate uh, Councillor Alan Dick to be chair. Do I have a seconder? Seconder. Oh, seconder, oh, sorry, Paul Bailey. Seeing that, um, all those in favour? Aye. Aye. Against? It's unanimous. Councillor Dick, you are the chair of the council, chair of the regional. Are there terms of reference? Have we had discussions? We have already. We've covered that, haven't we? Sorry, could we do the uh, deputy chair? Oh, um, deputy chair. Do we have nomination of the deputy chair? Yeah, I'd like to nominate Councillor Wilson, chairman. We have uh, nominated Councillor Wilson, a seconder from um, Councillor Hewitt. Um, so we have a nominator and a seconder. All those in favour? Aye. 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 No, for the no for the nominations. You're it, mate. <laughs> thank, thank you, Mr Chair. I was just going to say, though, maybe it would be appropriate to ask if there were further nominations well, as would. we go through the day, perhaps. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Not necessary. <laughs> Thanks for that. I will actually. Sorry, I slipped up there. <laughs> Mr. 
so yeah, we don't need to have any further discussion. I think we've noted all those points you've made, Alan. And, yes, um, thank you. We'll I, I'd just like that. to make the point, Mr Chairman, that I think your choice of a deputy is most appropriate because um, the Transport Committee's got a heavy workload in the coming three years and a lot of it will be focusing on State Highway 2 North as the weak, li weak link in our transport system. It will also be focusing on making sure that the rail deal with the port and, and Kiwi Rail actually happens <coughs> next year. And as well, it's got uh, it, the Transport Committee is a lead agency for three of the um, important objectives of Matariki, uh, the Regional Economic Development Strategy, inclu including um, support the combined approach with Tai Rapiti to achieve significant upgrades to State Highway 2 between Napier and Apopariki. So it's most appropriate that we will have the experience and skills of the Wairau Northern constituency member on that committee. Thank you, Councillor. Um, so that's it. Sorry. One last uh, just as uh, <coughs> Councillor Bailey raised the issue of cyclists, I'd like to also put on the engine to make sure they keep it a matter of motorcyclists. Uh, we've got cars and cyclists, but uh, I think on the case they will have bikers. So I want to make sure their interests are well looked after. Thank you, Councillor. Did, did you declare that as a conflict of interest earlier in the meeting? <laughs> I declare that as a representational Thank you. Um, and we have set a standard now, so um, as each chair is elected, we will um, have a, a small dissertation uh, from them. Thank you, Councillor. So, um, uh, in terms of reference, we are, yeah, we're adopting with the changes, with the changes. Um, corporate and Strategic uh, Committee. Um, Oh, no, Environment and Services, I'm on a different list. You see, there's a confusing list here. The Environment and Services co um, Committee, um, the terms of reference we all discuss um, right now. Is everyone happy with the terms of reference of the Environment and Services Committee? Councillor? Just one thing, um, this is on page 19. Um, Number five, financial authority to recommend to the corporate and strategic committee consideration of possible financial implications <coughs> of specific initiatives. I would have thought that I've come back to the full council and I stand to be corrected, but I can't remember the Environmental and Services Committee making um, references back to the corporate and strategic for discussion. That's like a triple debate on things. So did that actually happen? Oh, I can't um, no, the, the, that was the principle and, and um, uh, in regard to any matters for you know perhaps annual plan implications. Yeah. Uh, but you're right, councillor, in practice, it's always gone straight to council and been discussed there. So <coughs> um, happy to amend, suggest an amendment to that to recommend to council consideration of, yeah. Everyone happy with that amendment? Seems sensible, I can't ever recall. I was chairman of that committee. There are no other um, issues in terms of reference that I'd like to go for the nominations, and um, I would like to nominate Tom Belford as to be chair of that committee. Do I have a seconder? I'll second that. Councillor Barker. Do I have any other nominations? No other nominations. We have a mover and a seconder. Um, all those in favour? Aye. 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 Against? <coughs> Tom Belford is the chair. Now, nominations for deputy chair, environment and services. Councillor. Nominated Peter Bevan. Peter Bevan, nominated. Do we have a seconder? Seconder. Do we have any other nominations? Am I doing all right now, Fenton? <laughs> uh, <laughs> making sure I'm getting the process right. <laughs> any other nominations for deputy chair? There are none. All those in favour of Councillor Bevan being the Deputy Chair? Aye. 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 Against? Councillor Bevan, you're the Deputy Chair. Councillor Belford, do you want to make a short statement? No, I cannot. We were waiting in anticipation. <laughs> then we will move. Um, Biosecurity Working Party 3.3. Um, it's a subcommittee of the Environmental and Services Committee. Any comment on the terms of reference? There isn't. 
Now it came to us. To be completed. Okay. Uh, are we a, a, a point counter or do we or not? Or does that change that? So it says a point, but actually we're going to nominate councillors for this working party. I don't actually even recall who was on it last time. Um, we didn't have one. I thought this was brand new. So do we have, well let's, oh, let's just go out, um, do we have anyone who's really interested in being on this biosecurity working party? I would have thought, um, and I would have thought you too. Council Curtin. Had an interest in the past. Oh, sorry, big part. Biosecurity, yeah. Can I just clarify or help with an explanation of what this is about? Well, it'd be really helpful, Mr. <laughs> Avey, <laughs> quietly sitting down there. If you recall, um, or those those councillors that were here at the at the end of the last term, um, we advised you that we had a process to go through a review of the regional pest management plan over the coming calendar year um, and that we would establish a biosecurity working party to assist with that process. So it, it is the fundamental objective of it is to work through the biosecurity, well the regional biosecurity um, man, or biosecurity pest management plan. So that's for both plant pests and animal pests. Um, there will be also considerations because of changes to the Biosecurity Act over the um, recent years um, in terms of marine biosecurity and biosecurity associated with other sectors. So the hort sector as well is interested in making changes to our plan. So just a clarification, so you're looking for um, some councillors from around this table to sit with you and staff to work through what our plans are going to be in regards to pest management. Yes, uh, and the, the pest management plan will obviously feed into the long-term plan, so um, it will be uh, reviewing our biosecurity um, operational plans and operational approach going forward. Okay, now we so we have. That we just have it mocked up, and then once we've seen it all in writing through the ENS, then we could go and appoint people. We could, yes. One option is to do it through the Environment Services Committee. Yes, I think that's meeting. a good suggestion mm. um, because there are certain yep. councils around this table that'll be are quite passionate about mm. some of these things, and I am one. So that might be an idea. Thank you, Councillor. That's a good suggestion. So we'll, is everyone happy we leave this to the first Environmental Services? committee meeting and everyone can have a good think about it and um, we can perhaps get a one pager from you what you require of this group of people. Okay, do we all agree with that? Right, let's do that then, eh? So move to the hearings committee. Um, terms of reference, I think we've discussed that, haven't we really? Um, do you want... the um, hearings committee. Um, what was the, uh, Councillor Balford, what was that specific amendment? So it's page 22. I uh, doesn't have to be the chair, yeah, yeah, yeah we've, we've, yeah. So on page 22, I would, uh, there's a subheading chairperson and I would, move to simply eliminate the sentence uh, that begins a chair, RMA, blah, blah, blah. We've just, yeah, okay, no, we've done that. So everyone's happy that uh, that's taken out. Second that, Mr. Chair. Okay, do we need to move that? Yes, you do. Okay, um, you'll... you'll uh, Councillor Belfort will move that we do that. You will second that. that. All those in favour? Aye. 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 We will take that out. So um, to appoint um, the chair of the hearings committee, I wish to nominate um, Councillor Bevan. Do I have a seconder? Oh, Cou 
Thank you, Councillor Barker. Any other nominations for the chair of that committee? I'd like to nominate the deputy chair. Well, uh, we haven't voted. Deputy chair of the council, Councillor Barker. Is to be the chair. Mm. Okay. Do we have a second of a council vote? We have a second now. Yeah, um, do you accept your nomination? <laughs> Not just motorbikes. He's, um, you decline. Thank you, Councillor. The nomination's declined. Any other nominations for chair of this hearings committee? We have a nominator and a seconder. Um, all those in favour? Aye. Aye. Against? We got a new chair, so um, we need a deputy chair of this um, committee. Do we have any nominations to be deputy chair of this? Um, I would, um, if you would, uh, yeah. Uh, chair, um, I, I'm aware that from discussions we've previously had that a couple of councillors sitting around the table are planning to do the making the good decisions call. So on that basis, I'd like to nominate Councillor Bailey as the deputy. So we have a nominator. Do we have a seconder? <coughs> Thank you. Um, we have a nominator and a seconder. Do we have any nominations for deputy chair? Then we'll move. Uh, all those in favour of Councillor Bailey being the deputy chair of the hearings committee, and um, he promised us that he's going to do all the courses. It should be easy for a banker. Um, all those in favour, uh, say aye and against. Um, Councillor Bevan, do you want a qu quick...? Uh, um, well, thank you, Chair, and thank you for the confidence that the Council has shown. Um, as Councillor Hewitt has pointed out, um, the Hearings Committee um, doesn't meet often, but having spoken to the people on our consents team, um, it appears that there will be a number of hearings uh, next year, and I think we may find ourselves busier than um, in the <coughs> previous couple of years. So um, I think the committee is likely to have more work <coughs> than it had did in the last um, training. Thank you. The call is here. Sorry. Sorry. You had corporate services, yeah? No, 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 sorry. It's just nothing told. Oh, points councillors, ex as members. Ah, so, oh, so we need up to five. <coughs> so we need um, three more um, councillors to go on to that hearings committee. Up to, th up, to three. up to three. So I guess we should canvass who's interested in being on, on this committee. We absolutely need them, do we? And who is accredited? Who is accredited amongst us? You are, aren't you? I'm lapsed. You're lapsed? I'm very close to lapsed. I don't But that's okay because uh, Councillor Barker is going to take my place. So. Um, well, that's great. So we've got a second one. Is it, um, do we have a seconder for Councillor Barker to be on that committee? All those in favour that he joins the committee? Aye. Now we need one more at least, guys. We need someone to be interested. So, Councillor Hewitt is a, an accredited commissioner. She's not interested? Well, perhaps we'll just um, settle with the three and um, we will search for another amongst our member to, um, to join that at a later date. Thank you. Uh, 3.5 Corporate and Services Committee, Terms of Reference, we'll, we'll read that. Mr Chairman, is it, <coughs> it, did we confirm that the Finance, Audit and Risk is a subcommittee of Corporate and Strategic? Um, I think we did. Um, we, what we did confirm was a very important committee and we wanted to keep it. Yeah. Um, so I think it should stay, uh, my personal view is it should stay as a subcommittee of corporate and services it was there and i think it was very successfully there um but can if you want more discussion on that do you councillor just a point of clarification from ms lambert is was there not a council decision that it was a standalone committee and that's where we start 
that, that's um, so at the end of the last triennium, you as a council made a recommendation to the incoming council. However, it is now the decision of this council as to the structure. So that's fine. Further clarification. So, if that's not a recommendation that's been adopted by this council, then it then the current status of the committee is that it's a subcommittee. So we don't have to do anything if that's how we want it to remain. Yeah. That, that is correct. But I think just for clarification, it would be good to be quite explicit about what your intent is. Okay. Um, so we'll move to. Um, um, nominates nominations for the corporate and strategic. Just a point of order, Mr. Chair, in terms of the uh, terms of reference for that subcommittee, I'm assuming they're adopted in tandem or together with the main committee. Is that how that's going to work? Well, I'm not I'm not what it says here. It says we will do them separately, but um, I think we should do them separately because they're quite unique. Even though they're under the same uh, banner, they're quite. One is quite specific. So I want to move to um, Chairman of uh, Corporate and Services. Um, um, so um, I would nominate Neil Curtin for that for to be chair. Do I have a seconder? Well, oh, hands everywhere. Um, Fenton, I'll take uh, Councillor Wilson as a seconder. Do we have any other nominations for the chair of the Corporate and Services? Then I'll put the nomination. All those in favour? Aye. Against? And it's carried. Councillor, you are the chair. Um, we want nominations for the deputy for this committee. Do we have nominations for deputy? The chair, um, subject to her confirmation, I wonder whether Councillor Hewitt be prepared to be deputy chair. Would you? You accept? Right. Seconded? Do we have any other nominations for deputy chair? We have none, so all those <coughs> in favour of Councillor Hewitt being the Deputy Chair, aye. Against is carried. Councillor Curtin, you want a moment? Mr moment Chairman, moment? Uh, just very briefly, um, I would like to just foreshadow that um, uh, this committee, um, particularly in regard to its strategic functions, um, I'd just like to foreshadow the great necessity for this committee to really um, take the bull by the horns in terms of the strategic planning framework of council which is um, substantially elderly it's approaching near 30 years old now and um, as potentially I pointed out at in submission uh, this year and last um, the structure itself in my mind um, falls well short of the and is not fit for purpose for uh, the council going forward so I'd suggest that uh, that committee will uh, play a substantial role in establishing a, an entirely new framework uh, for the strategic uh, positioning of council. Thank you, Councillor Curtin. Um, we are all very certain you're going to play a big role in the next three years. Thank you very much. Okay, we will move to um, the Finance and Audit and Finance Audit and Risk Committee. Which, uh, which I personally regard as a really important committee. Um, did we, um, just to sort of discussions on the, um, terms of reference, um, who chaired that committee last? Or was that the chair of the... Uh, well, the Corporate and Services chaired the subcommittee. I'll nominate Councillor Curtin. And you'll sign it? Okay. So we have a mover and a seconder. Do we have um, anyone? Uh, we don't have anyone else because that is going to be the way we're going to do it. All those in favour? All right. So um, it's, my thoughts are. Yes, oh, oh, I'm, I'm being told off here. We firstly need to vote that this is a subcommittee of the Corporate and Strategic Committee. So let's just back the bus up a bit. Um, do we have a mover uh, that th th this remains as a subcommittee? Councillor Barker. Oh, sorry, I'm just getting my out. <laughs> um, do we have a um, counter view? Or all those in favour? 
against. So is that clear now? We've got the process right. Um, so what we want is to appoint councillors um, to the subcommittee, and I firstly um, want to uh, suggest Councillor Barker. I'd like to nominate him to the. Do I have a second to do that? Deputy Chair. Uh, no, this this. No, the deputy chair. The deputy chair is is um, Councillor Hewitt. Not, not, yes. I haven't agreed to our next council. Not at the side. No, no, of the. Um, oh, yeah, no, but I thought Trent said the deputy chair immediately goes on to the state. Okay, mistake. So um, we don't need a deputy chair for this. We don't need. We just need a committee for this. So um, it says here deputy chair. Do we want councillor to be deputy chair then? Councillor um, nominate councillor Barker as deputy chair. Mr. Chair, there's no reference to deputy chair in the. No, I know. So, no, no, no. So, um, do I have a seconder for Councillor Barker? I did. I had a seconder. All those in favour of Councillor Barker going on there? Aye. Aye. Aye he's on. Um, anybody else uh, nominate to go on that committee? Councillor Bailey? Do you want to, You would like to go on it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll Bailey. Okay. Uh, we have a nomination. Second of Councillor Bailey. Um, Councillor Bevan. All those in favour? Aye. Aye. Against? No. Sorry? Yeah, I know. So we have one, two, three. Um, Councillor Hewitt, do you wish to be as a deputy chair on there? No. You're okay. Um, do we have anyone else who would like to be on that committee? Councillor Dick, I'd nominate Councillor Dick. Do we have a seconder? We have a seconder and Councillor Curtin. All those in favour? Aye. Aye. I think that's our committee. Um, Mr Chair, there's the external appointee, uh, should that lie on the uh, table? I thought that was just to carry on until we have a talk about it. Sure. And, and as the Chair, you, you need to meet him and and um, and talk about that. And so that's just to carry over. Excuse me, Mr Chair. Um, the terms of reference that are attached to this agenda were <coughs> prepared as though this was going to be a standalone committee. Can I um, request that you... Um, let the terms of reference for this um, be brought back to the next meeting and we'll make the adjustments so that it's clear reports to the Corporate Strategic Committee. Good idea. Can I support that but also make ask that the minutes of this meeting record the fact that it was an amendment suggested by uh, Councillor Curtin and that was to have the reference excluded not just for expenditure but to include revenues. Mm. So I need to make sure that's captured in there. Uh, 3.7, uh, 3 Hawke's Bay Regional Planning Committee, terms of reference to be adopted in March 2017. I thought we all served on this. Points, councillors? Yes, you do. 3.7. Chair. And the chair of the um, council is the co-chair. And so I'd like to move the deputy chair, considering the significance of this committee, the deputy chair should be the deputy co-chair. I I'd nominate Councillor Barker to be the co the deputy co-chair. I think that's a very good um, idea, um, considering the circumstances. Do we have a seconder for Second that? that um, we'll take we'll take the first hand up, which was Councillor Balfour. So all those in favour that we formally appoint Councillor Barker as the deputy chair to that uh, committee, and I. I, I guess we have to formalise the fact that the chair is the chair. So um, can we have um, a nomination that the chair of our council, first, second, <coughs> all those in favour, aye. Which is a, a, an incredibly uh, important committee that all are at the moment. Okay, 3.8, the Maori committee, terms of reference, we're going to discuss those um, um, at our meeting. Um, but as they stand today, everyone happy with them? In terms of reference to the Maori Committee? Mr Moore here, have you got a... You can speak up, you know. We'll let the Maoris talk here. <laughs> Not at the moment, thank you. <laughs> See who you throw at us. <laughs> um, any comment on the terms of reference? Are we happy with them? 
Can we have a mover that we accept the terms of reference as they are um, and um, subject to that we're going to have a discussion about this later on anyway? Can I, do I have to move that? Don't have to. Okay. So we got to find uh, councillors who are happy to serve on this committee. Um, Councillor Wilson, I would second that. You're happy to serve on there? Um, so we have one nomination. All those in favour? Councillor Wilson? Well, we need a seconder, actually. I'll second. I second it. <laughs> we'll get there. Um, all those in favour? Aye. Councillor Wilson is one. We need some others, guys. Um, Interest, does the chair of the council get to automatically attend this meeting? I'll you oh, thank you very much, Debbie. You do now. <laughs> and a seconder. So I've been nominated to serve on that committee. All those in favour? Aye. 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 Against. So that's Fenton and I so far. Um, I'll nominate um, um, Councillor Barker. Do I have a seconder? Seconder. All those in favour of Councillor Barker? All right. Is there anybody else who has a special interest in this committee that would like to sit with Mr. Mohi and his fellows? Otherwise, we'll move on. We have three, and it's probably sufficient. We've got X, Y, and Z. Are you happy, Mr. Mohi? Nothing we can do about the quality. <laughs> Just for the audience, uh, Mr. Moore, he made his speech and he said nothing we can do about the, the quality. Maybe he's not resigning. He's not, but he's not resigning. Uh, anything else you want to say about your, your opportunity to be in the limelight? TV cameras are rolling. <laughs> okay. The uh, tenders committee. Um, I do agree with uh, Councillor Dick's um, previous comments. This is one that um, is quite quick. We you do it in the morning and we, um, and it needs to react quite quickly because we have contractors want to go. So um, I would like to see it um, stay as it is. Um, and it appears that um, count, uh, as a chair and deputy chair, we're on it already, Councillor Barker. Is there anyone out? Okay, we have uh, a mover, um, Councillor Barker, uh, come Belford, and supported by Councillor Bailey to move as presented. All those in favour? Aye. It's passed. Joint Civil Defence Emergency Management Committee. Terms of reference, um, we've all read that. Um, do we have a mover that um, the chair is the representative, I think that's um, statutory anyway, isn't it? Thank you, County Councillor. Seconder? Happy to move that. No, yeah. Seconder? Yeah, but can I just, uh, uh, you're in an unusual situation. I have a personally a special interest in this, and I also, given that the rules would be that if Councillor Graham was not available, I would fill out for him, but I just think it would be helpful to make it that explicit. So I 100% agree with that. So if, in the absence of Councillor... <coughs> Uh, the chair, uh, Councillor Graham, mm. you know, I fill in as a deputy for that. We don't. Okay, do we need a mover on that? Sensible. Yeah, that's very sensible. So we have a mover that it's, it is stated in the document that if I'm not available, um, <coughs> okay, um, and second it from Councillor Bailey. All those in favour that that is stated in the document? And the end will attend to that. Thank you very much. 311, Clifton and Tongoyo Coastal Hazard Strategy Joint Committee. This has been a huge um, effort. Terms of reference, um, you will all have read. Does anyone have got any comment on the terms of reference? We accept them. We in terms of reference, do we have a seconder for that? Okay. Second. All those in favour? Aye. We move to, we accept them. Um, so appoints councillors uh, as our uh, representative. Um, I'm, I would propose, um, nominate uh, Peter Bevan to be one of our representatives. Do I have a seconder for that? Councillor Balford, all those in favour? Aye. Aye. 
this is an onerous task, this one, and probably one of the biggest working committees that we've got. Um, it is unpaid and um, thankless at times because you're dealing with very difficult um, and challenging um, situations. But we do need somebody to stand shoulder to shoulder with Councillor Bevan. Um, so I'm looking for somebody else to attend those meetings with him. Councillor Bailey is keen. I will nominate him. Do I have a seconder? And a seconder. The um, coastal strategy, really, coastal. And, and, and Councillor joint. Bevan is chairman. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 You're not chairman of this committee, no. Well, I, I was elected chairman by the joint committee, but you've got to bear in mind that the joint committee is a committee with representation from three councils, so they will have to elect the chair when they first meet. Um, I should also point out, Chair, that um, it's this year that this committee is really going to be doing a huge amount of work because mm. we've done the base work which defines um, the potential risks to the coastline. Um, <coughs> but this coming year, um, we will actually engage with reference groups um, from yeah. the two cells that we've created, which is Port North and Port South. Um, and those two reference groups will consist of representatives from the local communities that might be affected, and they are going to have to make recommendations back to the Joint Committee on what the coastal strategy will look like going forward. It's going to be a huge task. Each of those reference groups will be meeting monthly for probably half a day or more, and there's a lot of um, pre preparation work that will go into um, serving those those reference groups and making sure that they've got sufficient information mm. for good decision making. So this is going to take weeks and weeks and weeks mm. of work. Mm. So Councillor Bailey needs to be aware that um, if he's going to be involved in this, he's going to have to he's going to have to commit some time. Yeah, thank you. Um, because this stage two affects people's lives, um, their personal balance sheets, and just a lot of things. So it is going to be a big task of this council. So I really thank you and appreciate you two guys doing doing this job going forward. Mr. It Chairman, in terms of um, a workload and compensation, would it not be appropriate that uh, this council recommends that Councillor Bevan? Uh, be appointed chair, uh, given that his um, hearings committee workload is likely to be quite light, whereas the workload for this committee is quite high. Sure. Oh, as a matter of equity. Um, I would like to, um, you know, I, I definitely think that we need to um, um, think about how we do compensate someone doing this and I guess part of the chairman's structure we, tr we tried to endeavour to do that um, but it's something um, if with your permission I'd like to bring up in our, in our meeting afterwards and just talk about it without making a quick decision yeah. now but um, he, uh, I'm happy for Council Bevan to be the chair how we remunerate them going forward to do this enormous amount of work is another discussion. Are you happy with that? Yeah, uh, and I believe in that paper somewhere it says that uh, if you serve multiple chairmanships, you you are entitled to one chairman it does. compensation. Right. And since we've made Councillor Bevan chair of the hearings committee, he would be compensated. Mm. Uh, and so we've I think we've covered that need. Mm. Councillor Bevan, are you happy uh, with that situation? Well. It's going to be a huge workload, mm. um, that much I'm sure about. Um, perhaps we need to embark upon the, um, um, the work of the committee and find out just how engaged I'm going to have to be, because they want me to chair both reference groups, which is going to be mm. very, very time consuming. Um, perhaps, perhaps we can get a month or two down the track and just see how onerous the task is, and, and if we need to revisit, then we can. Yeah, I, I'm really happy to do that. Um, I think that's a good solution. Uh, we are going to have to think about it if it's too onerous. So if, are you happy just if we leave it and we've got the remuneration one to discuss? So I'd like just to leave it for the um, little while. Okay, um, item four is um, just a bit of background on this. So um, with uh, Hito Takatini have uh, 
as their treaty claimants group have um, um, an extra member on the regional planning committee, which then gives the treaty claimants groups ten, and of course our number is nine, and it <coughs> by statute has to be equal. So we need um, to consider an option for appointing um, someone additional to this, and um, with uh, your permission, I'd like to leave this to our discussion as well, because we need to think about this really carefully. And um, number four, page 14. Page 14. Bottom of page 14. Paragraphs 34 and 43 of your paper. Oh. Mr. Chair, um, I, I, the, out, the outcome is that we discuss this at a point future time. Is that correct? Um, just um, do, it, it, you mean it's covered, but it, it, but I did pricey it correctly. So yeah, it is covered in here, but um, that is the the bottom line. What I just said to you. Well, so, uh, my thoughts are that we need to talk amongst ourselves and say, who do we think we should do as our tenth person? Well, Mr. Chair, we do have a loose wheel at the table now, um, and I wonder whether Mr. Mohi could be um, nominated for that position. The tenth man, the reserve, or off the bench, or whatever you like. Well, we need to talk to Mr. Mohi about that, and um, um, but yeah. I'd be very happy with that, but um, would he? <laughs> and I think, um, to be in fairness to all councillors, I don't want to ambush them on this one. It's quite, it's, this is a big decision that we need to think about. So um, I would like to... Um, could, could, I, could I suggest a procedural motion? This matter lie on the table until the next scheduled council meeting. And that leaves us time to think about it and have a discussion. And then it just simply comes up as an agenda item the next council meeting, and we'll have a move nominated a second that will be done. Okay, oh, I think it's you second I'll move that. Yeah. Mover and a seconder. Um, any more discussion on that? All those in favour of that? That's what we do. Yeah. Aye. 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 Let's carry that. The five is related. Five is right. Thank you, James, for pointing that out. Sorry I didn't pick it up. <laughs> so I think it's covered on the motion. It's done by the motion. It's done by the motion. What's that? Yeah, it is. It's covered by the motion. Okay. Um, I'm going to. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, thank you very much, everybody. Um, this was quite a long and arduous uh, session, so we will now break for a cup of tea. Cool.